if we have fluid flowing down a pipe from left to right, a single particle moving at a reasonable velocity is going to move in a straight line. If we add additional particles and they are still flowing at a reasonable velocity, they are still going to flow down in this similar pattern. However, as we add more particles, and as you'll see on this, si this slide here, that they start to form a parabolic shape due to the friction between the particles and the interaction against the wall. In this example, we're even going to say that the velocity on the wall is zero due to the boundary effects of the wall. The velocity in the middle is the greatest, and at the walls it is zero, while all the particles flow in linear fashion. This is termed laminar flow. If we again take that single particle, and now the velocity increases, you may get an instance where these particles start to interact with each other and they no longer flow in a linear pattern. The particles may interact and bump each other from left to right or up and down. More particles will interact more strongly, and you'll get a situation where you can get a situation where these particles are bumping each other all over the place. And as such, there is no longer linear velocity from left to right. However, the average velocity from left to right is now going to be even. And we're going to call this turbulent flow.